Hi, um, oh one second, I've left me boxy thing on. Um, healing. I don't really know how to mention healing, I've gone through way too many times of healing. I don't think anyone in the lifetime should ever go through as much as some people do. And healing comes natural to them then. They have a knowingness of when to start healing. Or when to continue things, to maintain things, to build again, to have the energy and um, life in them, the life force within them to actually start to re-establish things, especially when you've been betrayed, because betrayal is probably the most hurtful, painful thing that any human can go through um from my own perspective that is um that's coming from torture because the part of the torture that hurts is that you thought that these people was with you that you thought that they wanted the best for you you thought that they loved you or that they at least wouldn't annihilate you um i th think it's really important in life that We're honest with ourselves, you know, and where we're at. So I think sometimes if you do self-inquiry, self-reflection, um, it's a really good place to start. And things can be different throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the year. You might go back to things that you thought you processed um, or overcome. And I just feel it's important that when we're healing... It's on many levels and layers. It's not just about having this plan of, you know, just looking at our thought process and trying to change that. It, it's it's your lifestyle in general. It's looking at how you live, how you choose to live, how you choose to be in the world as a whole. And that is the whole. So you're not split because you're not trying to be something that you can't be. There's no split there. There's, it's, it's all a part of Saucy's masterpiece. It comes together, not through your own will, um, not through our own will, but through something greater than us that can bring the, them things together in a way that we never could. And follow your intuition. Follow what feels right in, in your gut for eating, you know. If your mind might want something to eat, but your gut might be going, please don't put that in me. Um, it's going to cause some inflammation or tiredness or um, the body can't process it. At the moment, I'm eating on a personal level between certain hours of the day so that my body's got more time to actually process not only the food but to process the overload that has happened with my body through such severe traumatisation um, because the body backs up it reverses it starts spilling out it's like a blocked pipe you wouldn't keep putting things in it and blocking it more would you you've got to somehow allow it to dissolve and move through or, or come back up and, and move out whichever way it's going to go really um, not, not that you're going to try and make yourself sick it's not what I mean whatsoever um, it's just things come out in different ways. You allow the body to do it. It's got its intel there and its intel is a lot better than ours. <laughs> so um, that's just a little bit about healing. I feel it's important for us to be aware of healing and sometimes people help us out, sometimes uh, doctors help us out and spe specialist services. Sometimes it's an intuitive journey. It's all dependent on who you are, where you are in life, what's right for you. Um, it's not something I can advise on, but I just hope that some of the things that I have posted are getting seen and they inspire you to be more of yourself too. Bless you.